I know exactly what you're thinking. It's impossible. And yet, I remember everything. Every second. Le Mans, 1923. Saturday, May 27th. It's raining. After 24 grueling hours, the winner is the number nine Shenari Weckler on Michelin tires with an average speed of 92 kilometers per hour. Le Mans is as demanding as it gets. Uneven surface, sudden changes in temperature, rain, and the Mulsan Straits at night, especially before they install the chicanes. And then there's the fatigue, the wear and tear. Le Mans is the most demanding race in the world. I could have complained about it, but this fight made my reputation. The long-lasting performance. 1951, Saturday, June 24th, 18 degrees Celsius. My structure has been changed. Both our cars did not have to change tires for the whole duration of the race, and at the end, they were only half-worn, never seen before. A great success for our radial structure. For these guys, Le Mans is a playground. 1967, 4 p.m., end of the race. We went under four minutes per lap, but above all, I changed face. The others are still figuring it out. In the 1980s, this time, they all finally think they look like me. But my guys continue to innovate and anticipate. Diesel, hybrid engines, more power, more load, more torque. And from 1998 on, it's just a series of victories. Everything was going great. And we could have gone on like this forever. But today, I feel something's changed. I've never seen my guys work so hard. It goes way beyond trophies. I don't know exactly what they have in mind, but I know why we're here, why we race. We race for change.